Hey there, Internet. My name's Elise. Um, so just last weekend, PPG had their second weekend championship. So here to give you a tournament report, deck profile, all that fun stuff. Uh, I did manage to win it. Woo. Um, so that was pretty cool. Uh, I didn't do so hot in the LCS, unfortunately. I went or I dropped at round five. Just really unfor a lot of unfortunate game threes. Um, not really that interesting, so I don't think I'm gonna upload it. If you guys really want to just see really one-sided, boring games, sure. But I'm playing the same deck list in the LCS as is shown right here. But um, I guess I can just get into this right now. Uh, there's like 25 people in this tournament. It was a little bit lower because people didn't realize that the because uh, they did it all this PBG all on Friday to not conflict with, like, the LCS. So there wasn't as many people, but there are still a decent amount of good people in this. So, you know. Uh, but my list is pretty much similar to the one I played in the last weekend championship. The only difference is I decided to play DD Crow instead of Impermanence just because uh, I was theoring with Justin Singh and uh, Crow was going to make more sense if... Uh, Eldritch was the more represented deck, which is what we expected, just because of the ease of playability, but it ended up that, uh, the Rock deck was more played, so going forward I probably changed this back to Imperm just to help deal with the Rock deck a little bit more, just because I have a little bit more of an understanding of it, uh, so I think Imperm will work out enough, and, like, this is nice for the Mirror and a lot of other matchups, but... I think Imperm will probably end up working out better in the long run. We'll definitely see. Um, but yeah, otherwise my list is exactly the same as last time. Like, nothing's changed. Um, I don't know. If I take out this Crow, though, I want to find a way to th fit in the third Hakero, and I might just take out this Guardian, just because I still really like having this extra name, but I don't know. Oh well. But let us just get into it. Uh, if you have any other questions about the deck list or anything like that, just post a comment and I'm happy to answer. So, this isn't actually round one. My round one, my opponent didn't show up, so I got a free win, so free start to the day. Um, I need water. So, let's just get into it. I think I won the RPS, so I will be going first, as much as I hate starting. Um, so my opponent's going to be playing the Rock deck. I opened Extravagance, and, like, I need my Extravagance, or I opened Double Extravagance, which is really unfortunate, but this Extravagance needs to be really good, so it was. I drew Eldland, and then I have Guardian, so what I can do is I'll just Eldland search for uh, the Lich, and I mean, I have Conquistador, Nibiru, Crow, so what I can do here is Guardian to send the Eldland, uh, Eldland to just send another Conquistador, just because... That'll just get me extra lands. Uh, I decided not to revive just because I know I'm getting uh, the whatchamacallit anyway. So I can set a white and a uh, a white and a scarlet. So I felt pretty safe just doing that. Um, so he'll start it off just normal summoning Dragite. I felt like just normal summoning Dragite meant... Uh, he really needed this to stay on, or no, I guess I don't do anything to it. Uh, he does reveal Seeker, though. I figured the Dragite was really weak, but I didn't want to, like, play into an Analyzer or anything. So he does go for that, goes for Seeker, uh, he is actually gonna whiff this, so that's really good for me. Um, we'll just fast forward this a little bit. Uh, and then I think he'll just go straight for the Barkeon, which I did definitely not see coming. Um, but it's luckily not really going to be a threat, because what I can do here is I can just white for the, uh, uh, Golden Lord, just so I don't take the damage, and then I'm not going to Conquistador just yet, just to, uh, play around him potentially having other plays, so he's just going to go to end phase, so it end phase, I'm going to activate the Scarlet. If he does negate this, uh, 
then, like, that's fine. I don't really care if Scarlet resolves. Uh, but he only had the two engrave, so I can actually chain Conquistador to pop it. So, because he, because for some reason, Barkeon has this line of text that says this card must be faceable on the field to activate and resolve, which doesn't make any fucking sense. I honestly don't get it. But that just means I'm gonna be able to resolve Elixir to get me the Golden Boy, and I just have a free land on field. But uh. This will just end up being game if I make the Link Spider, because I can just go attack, 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 and then just make the uh, Gustav for game, which is what I will end up doing. Gustav for game. <sighs> Gotta love it. So anyways, he'll be starting. Uh, he opened very not optimally. Uh, I ash his para, and he just passes, and I'm able to resolve Extravagance. I drew another Ash, and I descend evenly. Oh, I thought I put this on. Whatever. So, I descend his pickup just so I can, like, send the Eldland to summon the Lord. I have Conquistador and Land, or gold, or the Counter Trap, so this is actually, like, a really good spot for me. I send Hakero because I sided out the, uh, whatchamacallit, and I'd rather, uh, I just didn't want to use another Conquistador yet. And we'll just be setting two, and then end phase Hakero will get me a Scarlet. So, with Counter Trap and Conquistador, I'm sitting pretty good here. Um, so, he's gonna draw into a Dragite, but he's just gonna set it. Uh, end phase, I'm gonna be able to Scarlet. Uh, I don't go for the Conquistador because that's not the correct play. Uh, just go for Eldland because then I can search for another Golden Boy. Golden Boy, send Black, send this, and then attack for game, which is what's gonna end up happening. And he's like, why are you reading it? Why, why do you need to read Lich? <laughs> I guess. Oh, he's gonna start Avis. I forgot about that. That apparently exists. But either way, I can just attack, attack, and then uh, just make Gustav in main phase 2. Because there's no reason to overextend it. But that's what we do. Gustav for game twice, please. Gustav kind of nice, so... So that's going to be round two, so I'm 2-0 right now. Um, next, this is actually going to be another um, rock matchup, and I lose the roll. So he's going to start, but uh, he's definitely got the potentiality to go off. I think in this game, he just fully goes off because he has the... Doki for the Analyzer. Analyzer gets him the Dwarf, and then he'll be able to summon Gigas. So yeah, I think he has full combo right now. He can also summon the Onomatopoeia. I don't know why he didn't summon this yet. I guess it just wasn't needed. But go for Granite. Get him the Block Dragon. I'm pretty sure this is basically full combo at this point. Noodle Fuber. Uh... Summons Kialo, and I'm like, okay, well I guess we'll, s oh yeah, he gets a search analyzer, or researcher and seeker, so, and Gigante, so he'll definitely have some form of plays, uh, so yeah, I'll just summon both, uh, use researcher, that'll hit him the giant, which, if he really wants to, can get him the Gigas, I don't remember when he uses Gigas, I'm pretty sure, like, I, I'm 90% sure, sure I just scoop this game anyways. Uh, once I just see his end board. Actually, I think there's a way I can play out of this, now that I think about it. So I think if he only ends on, like, Raptite, Dragite, Pass, I'm okay. But... He'll go for the Dragite here. But then he gets a Reborn, and make the second thingy... Or he makes a crystal wing, so I'm actually, like, kind of okay right here. Or I could potentially be kind of okay. I don't remember if I just scooped this game or not. Yeah, I'm 90% sure I did. Yep, I knew I scooped that game. But yeah, that board is a little weird, but then again, there's a lot of variants with the rock decks. 
I think there's gonna probably be like a standard now. But I just scooped, I don't want them to know what I'm playing. I draw a pretty insane, so I'm gonna be able to extravagance, get me two fresh, neat cards. I draw the white, which is pretty okay, and since I have judgment, I feel like I should be able to survive whatever he does, because I'll just get the Golden Boy Elixir to send the Eldland. Eldland will send the Guardian, which means I'm just going to be able to do like a really strong set 5, because I'll also be able to set Golden Land forever. So I should be playing through this, and I should be able to play through any board wipes. Uh, Guardian will set the Scarlet, and we're pretty Gucci from here. Um, as you can see, he doesn't have anything that's going to like destroy me immensely, so he does just normal summon Doki. I'm going to do the Elixir and then uh, Conquistador, just get rid of it. Um, and he's going to summon Gigantes and then still have the Researcher in hand. I think I might negate, yeah, just negate it. Because then he has no other way to get the Researcher out, so I'm feeling pretty okay just leaving it. Um, draw for turn, just draw Judgment. It's not stellar, but it's definitely, like, serviceable. So right here, um, one of the main problems right now, well, I guess problems, is the moment I, like, crash into Gigantes, it's just gonna um, blow up all my back row. Mm -hmm. So I want to try and avoid that as best as possible, so I just call by the grave, or I send the judgment and I call by the grave his researcher, because then uh, my lords can, can just hit in without fearing my back row dying, which is what I do. Takes a good chunk. Um, will I have engrave again? So yeah, I can definitely reset up with like these two for next turn, and then I'll have a judgment and a DD crow. So I'm sitting like really well right now, because I don't know what he has in hand, but it Leads me to believe I should be reasonably fine. I accidentally discard the judgment again. So yay, free information for him. Uh, but then Conquistador will get me the elixir, and then we'll just pass. And he top decks Lightning Storm. But it doesn't matter because his research is negated, so he literally doesn't have any progressive playmakers. So we just get to go to game three. But I have to deal with this stupid glitch. But he'll get to start. Um, I never like going second against Rock, so I feel like I'm just going to lose. Uh, he normal summons Analyzer. Uh, he's made in called by. Weird. But he is going to hit with the Analyzer. I see the Decree, so I'm kind of scared right now. So I'm hoping to God he just doesn't resolve that. He gets the Dwarf, which will let him summon the Automatopoeia from hand. Um... And then Gallant for the thing, for the Black Dragon. I don't know why I called it, just called it a thing. But he's going to discard it, the Researcher, for some reason. I don't really understand that. Because he hasn't resolved Researcher yet, so I don't... He could have just discarded the Black Dragon, but he decided to resolve... I really don't know what he's doing right now. But he just blocks for the... Or links off for Halka for Bricks. Uh, gets Plague Spreader, which weird. Um, that's gonna let him search everything. I still don't know why he just didn't discard the thing and just didn't go to, go off more with a researcher. But he is gonna make Appaloosa right here, so my Nibiru is useless. I was thinking about Nibiruing like there. I just I don't know why I didn't do it. I guess I was thinking he wasn't going to go straight into Appaloosa, but then again, I guess I forgot that he added the Gigantes, so that's on me. But after this, he's going to get Dragite, which will net him a free draw. Uh, he draws into Doki, which I guess. Uh, Raptite. He has Plague Spreader, so I know he can end on like a pretty decent board, so I have to get, like, kinda lucky right here. Well, not really super lucky, but, uh, he does hit, so it just depends on what he wants to summon. Uh, is he, wait, is he playing multiple of the stone dragon? 
But he's gonna summon Doki just so he can make Harold. Um and he does have the seeker in hand, so he'll be able to also make the He only hits Doki, which means uh this Draga will luckily not turn into anything more, because he's just gonna have to use these two for the uh whatchamacallit. Oh, he's just gonna make s oh yeah. No, that's right, he didn't use Plague yet. Or he did already use Plague. So he decides to keep Raptad on board still. So all I need to do is play through like two negates, which because I have extravagance, that should play through it. Um So I go for extravagance, he's gonna end up neg or actually lets it through, which I didn't expect. Um I'm gonna activate Eldland. I'm just trying to be just bait one negate, and then I'm good. So he negates the Eldland, which... And then he thought it doesn't go to Grave, but he negated the activation. So, I don't know what else would happen to it. <laughs> um, so we're gonna go into battle phase. His only negate is Herald, which means I can bait it with a uh, Called By. But he's gonna be able to keep two things. Uh, yeah, if... I don't know why he thought the Hawk of Fabrax would just go to Grave. He keeps his Called By, which I don't really get. I don't know why he wouldn't keep Savage, but... Anyways, I'm gonna go to main phase 2. I actually have, like, a really good hand to play through him. So I feel, like, really good right now. Because I'll be able to summon the Lord Lich and then set Conquistador and Hakero. Because now I'll be able to Hakero in standby phase, get rid of the Black Dragon, and then, uh, he literally has just no follow-up. And then afterwards, I can just uh, pop his Appalooza with Conquistador, and I'm just... I should just win at that point. Uh, Hakero... He tries to negate Hakero for some reason, but it's not a monster effect. It's all one trap effect. But... We'll just end up setting the decree he just drew and trying to hit over my Hakero, but I know he has no other plays, so I'm just gonna Conquistor right now, get rid of the Appalooza, and draw for turn, draw another Conquistador, so I'm sitting amazingly. So I'm like, anything before main one, because it actually matters, because I'm gonna make Pleiades, because if he had flipped this decree, these would have just gone back to the spell and trap zone, I wouldn't be able to make Pleiades, but I'm just gonna be able to attack, attack. I'm just not trying to overcomplicate the game state. There's no way I was winning anyways, but, uh, Lixir is going to get me, uh, the counter trap just because I already have Conquistor. There's nothing else I really need. So we'll just pass to him and he, and I'm able to win because he has nothing. So, woo. <laughs> I'm surprised I also never dropped Nibiru, but I was also trying to, like, be conscious of other stuff because I thought when he had, like, the needle fiber out and the two other monsters, I thought he needed to, like, extend more first, but I just misjudged it. I don't think it really would have made a difference in the long run, but because he sort of extended the same ways, he just wouldn't have had the Epalooza, which, eh, I don't know. But anyways, uh, round four, I play against Jeff again. This is the second time I've played him in a round four, but uh, I think he's just playing the same deck. It, it would make sense. His kid hasn't changed his deck, I assume, so why is Jeff going to change his deck? But he is playing the barrier statue. He's going to start. I'm just going to immediately ash the desire because that's correct. Um, he's going to duality, getting himself just reveal three barrier statues. Because I guess that happens. Poor Jeff. But he does have Necroval Necrovalley. I can't speak. <laughs> I draw Nibiru for turn, but I just have to straight away go for Extravagance. I probably could have stayed my phase Cosmic his back row, but I wanted to just save the Cosmic for this Necro Valley. And I drew a Lord, and I already have Elixir in hand, so this is actually looking really nice. I'm just going to send the Barrier Statue right here because I have to, and then I'll Cosmic the Necro Valley. And then I'm just going to get rid of the Called By to bring back Lord. Uh... Just because I'd rather keep the judgment, obviously, I'm playing against barrier statues. Uh, attack directly for the big fat 35. Uh, this will luckily get me a conquistador. And if I really want to, I can just like. 
whenever he normal summons just judgment. He flips up armor call to get him the mate or the moon mirror shield this time. The threat. <laughs> and he has double moon mirror in hand now, but uh he's just gonna normal summon. I just decided to judgment right here because there's no other way he's like, as far as I know from just how this deck should function, there's no other way he can get another monster on board to make use of his moon mirror. So that should be the game from here. I'm just going to summon the Conquistador so I can go into Sucker. If I drew any spell or trap, then I just bring back Lord and attack for game, which is what happens. So we're going to go to game two. Um, I think he decides to start, which I prefer that he starts. I don't want to go first. But I draw a pretty awkward hand to go first with, just because I have no playmakers. But I have double Ash, but then the same situation of I Ash Desires, but then he still has duality. Um, he gets like... I think he goes for the strike right here. Yeah. And then he's just going to normal summon the barrier statue. Uh, activate Moon Mirror, set the judgment, activate Prohibition, calling Lich. <laughs> I'm like... Oh, there's my extravagance again. Let's hope it doesn't get... Oh, wait, I know all of his cards. So, yeah, it's not getting negated. I just get to Lightning Storm, his back row, and then I get to go get Lich, and then it's just... Yeah, he's just going to give me the game because he figured I would just have everything, and I did because I had Eldland. Uh, so that's an easy game. But then we'll go into the final round of Swiss, and we get to play against Tommy Williams, uh... Thami, hopefully, pretty well known. Um, I think I saw before this he's playing the Invoked Ed Lich deck, which I think is going to be the next variant of Lich that I play. Uh, I think that deck's really cool, but I'm going to end up starting, like, it's still blind, so I'd rather just play like I don't know. Um, his hand's a lot better than mine, but we'll see what happens. Uh, he draws a second Eldon, which kind of sucks. Um, I'm just not going to play stuff unless I have to, though. Uh, there's no reason to Conquistador this, I feel like. Uh, he goes and gets the Hakero, because it looks like he just wants to resolve souls, which is fine. And he does have the Elixir to get himself the Golden Boy. And he does send his Conquistador, which I don't really get. And he draws Meltdown and Alistair, which... He can Alistair, but he's not going to be able to do anything with it afterwards, so... Because there's no zombies. And he sends another Lich. I don't really get why yet. I mean, I guess he just didn't want to send any other land. Uh, goes for the Meltdown, and I decided to do the Conquistador thing here, because I just... that's a, I think that was the best thing to hold it for. So, we pop the thingy. Goes Alistair to get himself the invocation. Good old DB lag. And he tries to link away, and I'm like, Tommy. 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 Oh my god. So I'm just like, that's fine, I don't care. Uh, and then he just sets one. I think I'm actually going to mount like some sort of. Uh, I, want, I don't want to say comeback, but, like, all of plays to be able to play around whatever he does. He does crow my Scarlet, unfortunately, but I think I can still play through that. Uh, a top deck call by, which is not amazing. Uh, I know he has Hakero, so actually I think this game I lose just because of that DD Crow on the Scarlet. Uh... Yeah, he just Hakero's me, and I'm like, yeah, I don't think there's really anything I can do from there, so we'll just go to game two. Uh, I mean, honestly, no matter what, even if I lose this, I should still top four anyways, which is what I was looking for. Uh, so I'm going to make him start, because, you know, boarding in, going second cards. I Ash the Meltdown, because... I don't know, Justin always criticizes me for this, it's probably wrong, but I just don't want them to have Alistair in general, because I feel like just having Alistair is just really good. But his play is just go for the Mechaba, and then Elixir, and then he does have a Kero set. Uh, 
Or he's not going to set it just because he is going second. So I'm going to be able to go for extravagance here. He does negate it, but my hand is nutty. Uh, I'm just going to go end the battle phase, go for evenly. He does keep Mechaba, so I'm just going to Hakero get rid of the Mechaba. Set one pass. Hakero is going to get me a Scarlet. So uh, with Judgment, I know he has Alistair, and his last card probably isn't like relevant. So Link here, I do just Judgment that because I was like... Uh, oops. But then he just had the invocation anyways. So I'm going to chain Scarlet just so he can't... He's either forced to discard Mechaba or uh, Alistair to get over my lord right now, or he just sits with a Mechaba on board, which I'm fine with. But he's just going to shuffle back the Mechaba. I uh, also don't know why he kept Mechaba over Golden Lord the last turn. I guess he thought that was staying for some reason, but adds back Alistair... Uh, he's going to be able to get a, another Golden Land. So since he only has a Golden Land set, I'm feeling pretty okay. I top deck Extravagance again, which I just have to go for it. I don't think I really have much left. I don't even get to be able to see. I think I have enough to like game him. I don't remember, though. Uh, so I decided to just start pushing, because I know all he has set is Golden Land. Or, uh, yeah, Golden Land. So uh, I'm just going to attempt to Lord... Uh, he has to negate with Alistair, but luckily Lord doesn't get banished because it's in a different place than when it activated, so it's treated as a different card. So, yay. But I'm going to Elixir for... I think it doesn't really matter what I go for. I go for Conquistador just because that's my most expendable land right now. Uh, yeah, because I think I just sided out the Guardian. So, get to go summon Lich right here. Um... Just gonna go battle phase attack with both, since I know he doesn't have an Alistair in hand anymore. So main phase two, I only get Conquistador, which is unfortunate, but I think I'm still sitting pretty okay, just because I know this is Conquistador, and I'll be able to get access to like another Lord anyways from Scarlet. Uh, he's just gonna go for his own Conquistador, but his top deck has to be like really good to matter. He just sets one, or sets both and passes. End phase, I'm just going to Scarlet. Um, and I think that's just going to be game from there. A top deck Extravagance, which isn't really good. Um, but eventually I'm just going to start trying to poke a bunch. Uh, as long as one Golden Lord goes through and I still have a... Whatchamacallit in my extra deck, I think I'm okay. With uh, Gustav... But one of my lords is going to go through, and I think I still have Gustav. Yes, I still have Gustav. We never lose our Gustav. But I think I had, like, one Gustav and one Lieb still, which is insane. My extra deck loves me when I use Extravagance, and there's a lot of times I'll just still have three, uh, whatchamacallits. Three, uh, Liebs and three Gustavs, which is really cool, but game three... He decides to start, which I don't really understand. And as you can see, his hand is garbage. He just sends a normal summon and only send the invocation, and he draws a third cosmic. So I don't know this, but his hand's kind of nutty. He does just make Secure Garden just because he doesn't want to leave the thing on board. And he just sets all of his cards and passes. Uh, I'm just going to end up gold just randomly Golden Lording. I just pick a random thing. I think I pick... Uh, the, I picked the Judgment, which is kind of cool. Uh, so he's going to use the first Cosmic on my Black, and then the second one on my Skill Drain, which... And then the third one, I'm like, Tommy, gross, but what the fuck was that? <laughs> but I'm still going to have the Scarlet. Uh, just do Conquistador, just because it doesn't really fucking matter. Uh... Just bring out the Lord. I have Ash, so like, there's literally no top deck he can have to get him out of this. Uh, I'll just get another Scarlet, so I'll get another Lord next turn. If he draws nothing, which he essentially did, because I can just Ash this, and then I can just Scarlet, and I get the game. So, we make it undefeated in Swiss into top four, but now we get to play against uh, this man right here, Jose Castillo. Uh, first round of top four.
Um, he wins the RPS and is going to start... I believe this is a mirror match. Yep. So, my hand's kind of okay. I kind of don't like that I opened Double Lord. Uh, he gets Resolve Extravagance, which is unfortunate. Um, so he actually has a pretty ideal going first hand. Um, now he's going to send his white to send something off of the land. He sends Conquistador. As he's just going to set a bunch of... Or he's going to set the Hakero to summon the Lich. And yeah, he's actually going to be sitting just way too insane because he'll have the counter trap as well. Uh, he's just going to set another Hakero. And then uh, he's going to use those to just get uh, Scarlet and a Black. Passing to His hand's just nutty. Um, I just go for Elblind. And he ashes it. And I think just there's no way I was playing out of that, so I just decided to scoop and go to game two. Uh, I mean, I assumed he already knew what I was playing anyways, so it didn't really matter if I, like, just auto-scooped. Uh, I make him go first, but he also thought I was going to go first. I just don't think that's smart, though. He sets two and passes. Uh, activates Scarlet, which is fine. Uh, so go to main phase, just use Lich to target his set, or I target his, his Lich just because, uh, if this is a golden land, I'd rather just not have it trigger, but I don't know this isn't a golden land, so we just get to go for Elden, get Conquistador, I can set the, or, I can send the Elden, summon back my Lich, which luckily has nothing for, summon the Lich, and then just get to... Send Guardian, just so I can set, uh, more stuff. Let's get to Judgment. He brings back his, uh, Lich. So then I'll just hit over it. And then Black is going to get me the Counter Trap. And then I just get to set a bunch of cards. I don't use Guardian for some reason. I think I just straight up forgot. But stay in my phase, I'm just going to go for the Scarlet right away, just because, uh, in case I don't want to shock, like, if there's a point I don't want to use Conquistador yet, I'd rather just keep it. So, stay in my phase, he's just going to Lord to send my Counter Trap, which I'm like, that's fine, and he just goes to Battle Phase, which luckily I have the Judgment, so I don't just auto-lose. Yay. Um, so here he's going to be able to get a bunch of advantage because he has the, uh, Lixers, but I think because I have Conquistador, I can pull this forward enough. He sets his own Conquistador, uh, and then Scarlet's going to get him a Hakero. I don't know why he, like, did that, but Guardian's going to get me the, uh, Scarlet. So I don't know that this is Scarlet set, so I was really confused why he just, like, did the plays he did. Um, I'm just going to attempt to go to Battle Phase, though, and just see what he decides to do. He goes for Conquistador, and then goes for the uh, Scarlet. So he's going to summon his Golden Boy, and then Conquistador is going to... Uh, Pop my Lich. And I decided to attempt to attack in a Conquistador. Uh, I'm still st saving my uh, stuff just because I want to bait out. Because I know his last card is Hakero. I just want to bait it out. I set the black to send off of Lich. And this is where I Conquistador to just get rid of his... Uh, I actually get rid of his Golden Lord. Because there's no reason to get rid of Hakero. And he was like... Assuming I get rid of a Hakero, but it's like, if you just don't have Golden Lord, it just doesn't resolve, so why would I do that? But, uh... Then I get to set a Hakero right here, so I'm actually, like, amazingly set up right now. And I also get a Conquistador, like... Just... Just scoop already, man. I'm just kidding, I'm not that rude. He does draw a Cosmic, though, which means my Hakero doesn't really matter. Uh... <laughs> 
but I'm just gonna let him attempt to play it first. Uh, I do attempt Takedo, but with Chikosmix, I'm like, damn, that was unfortunate. He does summon Lord. Uh, I'm still not in a position where I'm losing yet, so I feel okay. Um, he's gonna just attack over one of my Lords, just because it's correct. Uh, he just proceeds to end phase. Does Scarlet and his Conquistador, and I'm like, oh, and Haketo. Oh, wait. Yeah, that's right. He Haketo my last turn. But he's gonna set three things uh, his own Haketo, and a Scarlet, and a Black. But I'm just gonna be able to summon another uh, Lich. I draw in two Extravagance right here, which is kind of nutty. Uh,. So we just get to go for that, and I get a white and a conquistador, so I'm still going to be able to grind this out. Uh, yeah, just Haketo. I don't really care, so I set one to try and go for Lich, and I just get to conquistador pop his Haketo, which means summon the Lich, and then I also get to summon Pleiades right here, which is kind of nice. But first I'm going to go for Gustav, do the 2k... And then, uh, eventually I go into Pleiades. I luckily don't go into Lieb, because that would just be dumb. But I attempt to double knock the Liches, just because, uh, I don't want to bounce it back. Uh, I don't really know why. And then for a second he made me think his Lich wasn't boosted, but then I'm like, no, we were both boosted. So then, as you go attack, attack, um... I mainly just save Pleiades just when he goes for Scarlet. Uh, I knew his last card was black, so I knew just double knocking and then bouncing the Golden Lord was just enough for game. So we do that and we get to go to game three. So game three, he's going to make me go first because of what happened last game. Um, I figured that's fine. Uh, I don't been very subpar and I feel like I might end up losing. Like get to summon Golden Lord, set a Scarlet, and pass. I don't really want to play it evenly that much. Uh, he just Cosmics my Scarlet, which is fine, I guess. Uh, just have two Golden Lords on field. He's gonna evenly me, and I'm like, okay, I guess I just lose a Golden Boy. Uh, luckily, he actually just has no plays right now, so he's just gonna set a few cards and pass. I draw an Akero, which is kind of nice. So, Elblitch is going to be able to attack directly. Uh, he's going to have Kato to block, just because, uh... Does he have double judgment? That kind of the nut. Um, but since I drew a Kato, and also Elixir is going to get me a Conquistador, I'm feeling pretty okay. So I'll just be able to set everything past. I don't know he has double judgment. Let me just make that clear. Uh... He draws another Haketo for turn and just sets it and passes. Uh, before end phase, I'm just going to banish his Haketo in Grave just because I don't want him to have anything. Smart. <laughs> um, and then end phase, I just get a Scarlet from my own Lord. He doesn't judgment that locally. Uh, draw new Extravagance again, because we just draw that all the time. <laughs> we nice out here. Um... And we get Conquistor and a Golden Land, so that's kind of nut. But we're just able to attack with both of the Liches. And then main phase two, and I, I can attempt to go for the uh, Gustav, but he has the first judgment for it. Uh, my sets are Conquistor Hakero, so if I really want... Or I want to have a Lord on field, so I'm just going to send the Conquistor I have set, just so I can summon back out Lord. And then... Scarlet will get me Guardian, because that's, like, I have everything else otherwise, so I might as well just get a different name. And then Conquistor can get me White. Yeah. And then he goes for Akero again, so that he can do the same thing he was going to try and do before. Uh, he draws into the Black, so he can attempt to play, but at this point, it's a little bit too late. Uh, do decide to Ash the Black, because... It's his only serviceable play, so I kind of want to, you know, do the right thing. He luckily doesn't play Link Spider. Well, no matter what, it was just game. But we'll just go for the Elixir. 
get back at Lich, and then, yeah, it's 100% game from here. So, yes. But, GG to this fellow. Um, that game 3 was kind of unfortunate for him, but, oh well. But now we get to go into the finals, and we get a rematch against Thami. Um, he beat the great Jeff Leonard. I don't know why I had to say it like that. I really mean that. But anyways, uh, he wins RPS and still goes first. And look at this hand, it's so bad. Um, so I think he's just going to end up setting to passing. And immediately he's going to go for the, uh, that. And I figured this was just going to end up being, like, a, uh, another golden land. So I thought I'd be okay. But now it's, like, really awkward and weird. I just set everything pass. And all he has is Hakero. Um, I think I have the counter. Or no. I just wanted to do it to do it. Uh, so I get Golden Boy out. He's going to Scarlet for <clears throat> whatever. It doesn't really matter. I think I'm going to end up Cosmicking whatever he does get. Just so, you know, less resources. And he does just scoop right there because he figured he wouldn't keep up, which, uh, yeah. Oh yeah, he showed me his hand and he's like, there's just no way I'm doing this. It's just not worth it. <laughs> I'm like, that's fair. Uh, then game two, he does actually make me go first this time, which I was kind of surprised about, but I guess. Uh, I'm able to start off with the Pot of Extravagance, which draws me Judgment, and I have Elden, so I'm actually, like, really insanely, like, just in a good spot, because I'll just be able to black for my Golden Boy, um, and I can just set four pass with skill. Um... I think he's gonna go straight into. No, he's gonna go for souls first for some reason. And he just sends the meltdown and the uh, black to try and bait out whatever. I just go for golden land just because I don't want him getting those draws. He's only gonna have three cards in hand. I'm gonna assume they're not that good. Because, uh. Yeah. He does just go for the evenly. I do have this. Uh, judgment for it, so we're sitting Gucci. He's just gonna banish black to get himself a conquistador. Um, and then end phase, I have the scarlet to be able to summon the lich. And I think I'm just in the position to win this game at this point. Uh, so stay my phase, he's just going to... Or no, in end phase, he's gonna crow my scarlet, which is fine. I still have a black engrave. So I'm sitting pretty okay. I can just go Eldland for Lich. Lich can send the Guardian in itself, send his back row. And at this point, he'll have nothing else. Because then I'll just send the Eldland, summon the Lich. Uh, and he's just like, show me Gustav. And I'm like, there you go. And that is the win. So uh, good game, Tommy. Uh, went a very undefeated in this tournament. Uh, which is pretty nice. Uh... I don't expect to do that again. Um, hopefully, I'll do better in like the next PPG or the next big tournament I'm in. I wish I did better in the LCS, but it's what it is. I just got really unlucky. But uh, hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, hopefully, I'm going to try streaming sometime later this week. I don't know yet. Otherwise, uh, hopefully, I'll have some more videos for you next week. If you guys really want to see me lose a bunch in last weekend's LCS, I can upload those. It's not that exciting, though. But otherwise, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see y'all later. Bye!